Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all well. Today we're back at Yabba Coco again for an 8 lap race, this time in the newly updated and re-released Datsun Bluebird Triple S by Dazarex. I'll go into the car and the mod in a little bit. We are starting from 10th on the grid of 24 cars. This should be a really close, um, exciting race hopefully in this car. Just turn that volume down a bit. in. So I'm running a, a little bit of a lower front splitter setting and it seems to help me in the straights against these cars, oh. against the AI, uh, but I kind of lose out in the corners so let's see how we go for this race. As you can hear the sound of this mod is absolutely amazing. This is the 1971 Datsun Bluebird Triple S. Um, now, Dazza has updated this with uh, new new graphics and physics settings. Um, and previous to this, uh, the mod was actually released or started to be released back in or started to be built back in July of 2018. Now, I wasn't racing back then so I wasn't aware that the mod was actually out um, and along the way up until about Christmas I think um, there are a whole bunch of cars that he did release now I believe he released uh, Celica T27 um, this car and I think the RX3 the Mazda RX3 um, there's a whole bunch of other cars that are coming in the mod. Now if they're all of the quality of this car, I will be all over this. This will be my go-to 70s touring car um, fix. So the cars that are in the mod or are going to be coming to the mod are uh, obviously the, the 510, which is the four-door four -door sedan version of this. This car, the Nissan 2000 GTR Hakusuka, which if you watched my channel before you'll know is one of my all time favourite cars. Um, so I can't wait to run that um, and see how it compares to the Group H Special from my previous video. Obviously they're very different different cars, two totally different purposes um, and no doubt two totally different power levels as well. There's um, a couple of starlets obviously the Celica that I mentioned and the T27 there's the BMW 2002 TII Turbo which I think he also did release um, as well previously but obviously he isn't available at the moment because they're all going through updates oh, the Mazda RX-3, the Mazda RX-2 the original VW Sirocco Mark 1 um, and the Ford Escort Mark 1 which again is one of my all-time favourite cars too, so I can't wait to, to wait to give that a go. <laughs> oh no 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 no! You're not going to get me through here. No way. No way. Oh. <laughs> Rubbing is racing. Let's go. Come on. So along with the sounds, obviously the physics in this car is amazing. I would, I would say um, that for a free mod, this is up there with riser quality. Um, I'm going to post a link for Dazrex's mod team's website because you you can donate, even though these are free, going to be free released as far as I know, as individual cars on Steam as as Dazzer updates them. Um, you can donate. So I'll put a link up for both the Steam content and also for the website. The feel that the car gives you or the feedback you get from the car is, is, is awesome. You know what it's doing all the time. And you can correct and you can slide these cars nicely through the corners. The suspension is amazing. Um, they absolutely love to be smashed over the curbs and the replays look amazing too. They look fantastic. I'm 
obviously not driving my best at the moment, but it's just um, <laughs> it's just fun smashing this thing through the corners. The copic detail is great too. Um, I'm kind of sitting a little bit forward though, um, probably actually further back than I normally do, just so you guys can see the gauges. Um, I'm running at about 50 FOV. Normally it runs about 40, 42. Um, but as you can see, pretty detailed. The webbing as well in the cockpit. Come on. One of the driver's seats in the cockpit, is it? Come on, side by side. Horrible line through there. Got the uh, force feedback set to about 0.8 for this car on my CSL Elite. It's about perfect feel, I think, for this car. <laughs> Again, this is one of those cars that if you're not smiling while you're driving this, I think there's something wrong with you. Third. Not even paying attention. Oh no 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 no! That was horrible. This is another one of those cars that makes me wish that I had a H pattern shifter. I think it deserves it. It actually makes me want me to. Sorry, it makes me want to grab my uh, Logitech G25 out of the cupboard and just. Have a crack. So that lower front splitter settings helping a fair bit there in the straight. I kind of lose them then through this section of corners. bad. Spoke to you soon, I'm hanging with them. Oh no, mate's going up the inside. No, 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 no. Oof. wide behind me through that last corner. Oh. As you can see, it's great, great quality on the model in front. Very clean. The thing that stands out to me with this one though is, is the, the actual suspension and physics. The suspension model in this, if you watch it in the replay, is it just looks amazing. Curves are your friend in this car. Oh, I was going to try and get him then. Oh, wow. 
Wow. This whole bunch from behind me. Okay, I'm gaining, I'm gaining, come on. Yes, we'll get him here. A slide through there. He's going to outbreak me here, though, I think. <laughs> oh, side by side. On body language car. Go on. Oh no, 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 no. Sorry, mate. Oh, sorry. Oof. Oh, wow. All blue. Jeez, look at them all behind me. Oh, last lap. I'm not going to catch him. Unless it's the lap of a lifetime, come on. <laughs> oh, I'm gaining too, it's just not enough, it's not enough. Oh, oh wow, that was awesome. This is an amazing mod. Do yourself a favour and go and get this. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that guys, if you did please uh, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell and I'll be sure to upload more content soon. Thanks everyone, bye.